I would have to say that the switchblade is uh, pretty much the Swiss Army knife of all kites out there and that pretty much anyone can hop on this one and feel at home. Um, it's fast enough and playful and light enough to, it, to cater to the more advanced riders, but at the same time, it's super stable, super predictable, and it has that familiar Cabrina at-home feeling for entry-level and intermediates that you clearly can't go wrong. It's just a comfortable kite with an amazing wind range, good boosting capabilities, and just overall high-performance free ride kite. The Switchblade is a comfortable kite mainly because of the choice of profiles that I use and the it's kind of a medium aspect ratio. It's not too aggressive in any way. It's not super wide and flat or high performance for the ultra in hang, uh, the ultimate hang time and stuff, but it's kind of sitting in the middle zone that just makes it super comfortable. So it's got a medium aspect ratio. The profiles are quite full and draft forward, so it's very stable. It helps really have uh, a good balance and um, also a comfortable feeling even when you're super overpowered. So that, I think that Switchblade's always been recognized as one of the kites that have the best wind range out there. So it's got amazing, stable, and predictable sheet and go power delivery, but at the same time, it's got the ability to handle the wind when it really picks up. Yeah, so on the Switchblade, um, we kind of have a nice blend and combination of different exotic uh, kite making materials. Starting at the leading edge, we'll have the Ultra HT material, which is uh, it's actually an amazing material because it's quite soft on the bias, so it really helps with the steering. Uh, but at the same time, it's it's got very low elongation when it's inflated, and so it makes it for a very clean canopy, which usually clean means high performance. Also using Tasian material for the trailing edge, we've got a new 75 gram material from them. It's got a higher tear strength, it's got a soft finish, so it doesn't chalk from being flapping in the wind and it's a really good way to go on the construction on the trailing edge. So this year, you know, not only having the Tasian materials, but we've also used a stiffer material in the struts, which help uh, the profile from deforming when it's under compression, which is basically what happens when you sheet in really hard and there's a lot of load on the trailing edge. The placement and combination of all these materials now give us the ultimate situation where we have st uh, softness on the bias for steering, we've got stiffness to maintain the profile shape, and we've got the weight savings, and we've got new high performance bridle line that's, that's uh, Dyneema that's much more stable and basically the combination, it, it works. It's, it's the best setup that we've had so far to date. You'll notice that these kites ship on the B setting on the wing tip and this is a little bit more bar feedback and a uh, little better depower. This is your kind of your traditional switchblade feel. Um, for entry and middle, actually a lot of people prefer that setting, but if you really want to put it into overdrive and have faster and lighter feeling overall, then we, you just simply move this back to the back and, and it's, it's surprisingly light and playful for a switchblade. Like it's really just, it transforms it into a completely different machine. So I think that the high end riders tend to prefer that. Um, and then as you want more to lean against, you know, you can go to the B setting and keep it that way that it was shipped. Um, you know, the small details really make a difference on these kites, and, and, and lesser pointed out to you might bypass some of them. So let's just go into a few that, that make a big difference. Something as simple as this bridle deflector here. This is now a two-piece uh, section lined, uh, center lined with a uh, overlap onto a piece of uh, EVA foam. So basically it, it keeps some rigidity, easily deflects the bridle. It goes across the closing seam so that it doesn't get snagged on there. So I mean th these are super little things but they make a difference. And then this this is a really small detail but you'll notice that the in the front of the kite that these shape protectors wrap up onto the leading edge whereas on the wing tip here they actually stop. And I, I know it, it this is a, an abuse area when you're self-launching and landing but this is a very critical point during assembly. If you lose the position of these corners as you assemble the kite, you end up with wrinkles in the wingtip. So this method that we've got, we've got a little trick here. These, these STPU patches have a little V notch in them so that you can find that exact point on that corner here. And those little details in the construction make a difference to make the more accurate you position the canopy onto the leading edge, the better kite you have. The switchblade for boosting is a is a nice combination for several reasons. Um, in the design, it's actually a medium uh, aspect ratio in comparison to the more high performance uh, uh, 
big air boosting kites like the Nitro, for instance. But the main difference is that it's a slightly lower aspect, a slightly narrower span, um, and also a much more draft forward profile. So it climbs vertically a lot better. So maybe there's some sacrifice on hang time a little bit in comparison to the Nitro, but it's easy to get the height because it steers faster, it turns a tighter circle to get used the rip off of the water and get you to the altitude that you've got. But that draft forward profile also helps it climb really well when you're learning to do kite loops and stuff. So it gets around and goes back up rather than getting stuck over here on the side and yarding you downwind. One thing uh, somebody brought up with me the, in the last uh, few weeks was actually they were so amazed when they rode the switchblade and they're doing kite loops that it's 100% silent in the kite loops. It just goes whew, like it's a really, uh, there's no flutter in the trailing edge, it's super stable in the profile, especially from five struts as, as well, but it's, it's really nice to fly a kite and loop it and you don't hear any noise in the canopy, you know, I mean it's really, that's one thing I think you'll notice right away with this switchblade is that it's a silent kite, it's just like a ghost whisperer, you know.